Good morning, my YouTube peoples. I uh, just wanted to real quick do some uh, comments about subscribers. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Over 98% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So that's nuts. So if you're watching these videos and you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And also, if you're watching these live streams, make sure and put some comments down in the chat, and I'll make sure and go over those and answer them towards the end of the video. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at this little uh, light sensor. You can see here, it triggers uh, the goggles. I haven't quite updated the code, so this is basically the same as the last update, but I wanted to go ahead and um, build another light sensor, show y'all how to do it, so if you wanted to build one, you've got a pretty uh, good video on how to follow along. Um, the code is getting made to uh, basically duplicate a trigger on the other side of the goggles. That way I can independently blink them. Um, but right now, as you can see, everything's working pretty dang good. Um, but yeah, so let's just jump right into making this other, it's just this little uh, light sensor and LED uh, pair right here. Um, here's another look, it's just a, a regular everyday old LED, nothing special. Uh, one thing to note is LEDs always have a positive leg, which is the anode, which is longer, and a shorter leg, which is where you uh, tie to ground. Um, and if you look carefully, you can see that the uh, ground leg has a flat on the uh, side, on the bottom of the LED. I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, if you put your finger on it, you can definitely feel there's a flat on the ground leg of the LED. Now, again, I'm not sure what's going on here. There might be uh, something else that I'm not aware of, but this is the photoresistor. It looks very similar to the LED, but it is not. it does not emit light. It changes resistance based on light that it sees. Um, and I found that putting, uh, I didn't think there'd be orientation with this little uh, light resistor, but it seems that it works best whenever I put uh, positive to what would be an LED ground leg and then tie ground to the longer leg. Um, it's basically just think of it as being the complete opposite of an LED, um, how you wire the light sensor. Uh, I don't, again, there might be a reason for that, but I'm not exactly sure why. I just tried a ton of stuff earlier on and found out that that works best. All right, so what we're gonna want to do is we wanna make sure that the orientation, I have the LED on the inside, and then we're gonna do a common uh, five volts going to both the light sensor and the LED, so that way I only need three wires. And so I'm gonna take the longer leg and put it on the inside, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and bend that up like that. That way again, we've got the long leg on the inside. And then I'm going to take this one and I take, um, let's see here, it's the opposite. So the short leg is where the five volts comes in and I want that facing the LED. So I bend that one, oops, I bend that one up. So now we've got them sitting like this where I have um, long leg, short leg, long leg, short leg. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the long leg off of the resistor uh, up close to it and I'm going to solder in this resistor and then above that resistor I'm going to solder in the leg for, I'm pointing with my fat sausage fingers, here this is better, I'm then going to solder this leg above up here that way I get the 5 volts and I'm not doing any type of um, current limiting or anything to the sensor itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Cut this leg or about there. And I'll go ahead and get this guy a little bit shorter as well. All right, so now we can, where's my blue tack? Blue tack. Go ahead and stick this guy in here and then we'll tin it up. do the same thing with the resistor that way we get a nice solder joint and then we'll just solder these two together resistors do not care um, what side you solder on so don't worry about getting orientation of the resistor just right you just need to make sure the solder joint is good all right cool Wiggle it a little bit, make sure it doesn't break. All right, so then we'll put this back down. We wanted the short leg 
to be going there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this and get a little bit of a bend. Like that. So it can just kind of reach over and tie in. And then I'm going to snip off the extra. So we've got something like that. And I'm just going to solder those two together right there. Actually, before I solder them together, I'm rethinking the process here. Um, one thing that I found is very important is to uh, basically shroud the um, outside of the photoresistor with black electrical tape, like you can see here. That way it only can see light from um, the front. So let's go ahead and get some black electrical tape and we'll just cut a nice little strip. And then we'll just roll it around the outside like this. That way we block out all the, the ambient light. Cool. Okay. And now, because that would have been harder to do with it on like that. Um, I'm also going to throw some hot glue in between the two just to hold them together to make it more of a uh, robust assembly or whatever. And one thing that I did that I'm not sure if it actually does make a difference, but I did it on the last one and it worked really well. Um, and I'm just contributing its effectiveness to this little trick. Um, is I put the light sensor, you can see it's a little bit higher up so that absolutely no light can go from the LED directly into the photoresistor. Um, I hope that makes sense. So basically I have the photoresistor higher up so that the light has to go out, hit something and come back in. It can't just like, uh, if they're even or if this one's a little bit higher, the light could go into the photoresistor. So that's something that I think makes a difference, but I don't know for certain, but that's what I did on this one, and that one works pretty good, so we're just going to duplicate it. All right, so now we can solder this joint right here, right above the resistor. So let's get these all hooked up. Cool. Okay, so now the way we're going to wire this is we've got five volts, a single five volt wire coming into here. And then that five volts gets uh, resisted for this LED so it doesn't burn it out. And then the, uh, all of the five volts goes to this photoresistor because it's gonna go through this and then the, this resistance is gonna change for the analog input out of here. So we've got an analog out coming out of this pin and then we've got ground going to that pin to, light, to let the five volts flow through the LED and light it up. All right, so that is basically what you see on this side, but just flipped so that we can mount it there. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's turn this off so it doesn't chew my fingers. <laughs> and then I'm just going to mount it on this side right here. Um, I'm going to probably do, I'm still, I've got wires everywhere. You can see that. Uh, I'm going to print, I've got a new design for the goggles. I might actually print that today and then throw up a watch me print. And y'all can watch the new frame print, but essentially it's, it's very much the same thing. Um, I've changed a little bit of the spacing and given more room for the wires to run through. But uh, yeah, I'll be running everything internal and then I'm going to get some nice foam to put around this. So it really blocks out any of the ambient light and it fits on the face a lot smoother uh, or a lot nicer, a lot more comfortably is the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, so that's, I guess, the update for today. Uh, nothing too crazy or amazing. Um, I do have code. And I tried it early this morning for the independent blinking and there was something hanging up where um, the left eye was just like twitching. <laughs> it was like someone was really upset and their eye was just like twitching because they're super angry, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's it for uh, the update on the building the uh, photoresistor circuit, little guy that will tell us 
um, that'll trigger whenever we blink. Let me take a quick look at comments. Oh man, guys, no comments. It's like I don't like to wake up super early for a live stream. It makes me sad. All right, well, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and uh, I hope this helps. Even if you're building a circuit that doesn't uh, work for the iris goggles, I think this is a really good way to, to build a little light sensing circuit for motion or touch. So I hope that's helpful, and I will see you next time.